uh, call our visitor stuff. First visitor, uh, Gil Livingston. Good evening. Yep. I'm here to talk about a situation that I've encountered, uh, both uh, from a distance and in person. I want to, I'd like to talk about the crosswalk that's down here at Railroad Street in Bower Hill Road. Okay? Everybody with me? There's a crosswalk. That crosswalk actually goes through the middle of that intersection. And there are times of the day when that intersection can be very difficult to cross. Um, I've witnessed a lady in the crosswalk walking from north to south, walking from towards the beer distributor, walking towards Railroad Street. Um, halfway through that crosswalk, when we come up Railroad Street, cars are stopped on Bower Hill Road. And the person coming up railroad sees that vehicles are stopped, go ahead, around that corner, and just about hit that lady. Okay? I've stood on that south side of that intersection in the crosswalk. And it is just a horrendous um, place. I mean, you can stand there for three to four minutes, depending on the time of the day. If you're crossing from south to north, a beer distributor coming across, um, the sight lines for that, um, for our vehicles coming out of, coming off Washington, out of town, I'll call it. Um, they come down, there's a dip in the road here, they come up over that dip, people are watching, you know, drivers are watching for vehicles turning, they're not looking for pedestrians, okay? Um, you come over that railroad tracks, and as soon as you're over that railroad tracks, they're in that intersection. First car may see you, but by the time they see a pedestrian in that crosswalk, they're not going to stop, especially if there's a line of cars behind them. By the time they stop, they're already across that crosswalk. Um, there's a turning lane there coming, coming into town. Um, that turning lane, people will actually stop in that to make that left-hand turn onto, onto um, railroad street. So it's, it's a very difficult place to, to stand and try and cross traffic. And I don't, you know, I don't think, you know, people drive through that intersection every day, they don't see a lot of pedestrians. They don't see a lot of activity north of, the, of, of Bower Hill Road to attract pedestrians. It's not like <coughs> Washington Avenue downtown, okay? You got crosswalks there, you got businesses on both sides, there's a lot of pedestrian traffic. Um, let's see. You know, I, and with with that, you know, you're basically trying to get across three lanes of traffic. If there's somebody turning, people coming on the other side, coming into town on Bower Hill, don't always necessarily see you if you're in the crosswalk until you're actually in that lane. So I've got two suggestions. Anybody got any questions before I? No, we, this, is a, this is not a new topic, but I'm curious to look at the suggestion. First suggestion, really easy, fairly simple, relatively inexpensive. Get some crosswalk signs there. Okay? Put them, you know, put one on a uh, couple on Bower Hill or put one in the middle of either side of the crosswalk. I realize this time of year with snow removal, it gets to be a challenge, but. Um, uh, it, you got to get people's attention. I mean, people coming down Washington, uh, coming down from Washington, they're looking to see if somebody's going to pull out in front of them or, or looking at left hand. <coughs> they just blow right on by. They don't see pretty people standing there. Um, the other suggestion is move that crosswalk. Move it out of that three-way intersection. Move it the other side of the railroad tracks. Like in front of Dairy Lane. In front of Dairy Lane. You know, in the summertime, spring, summer, and I got here in June, we used to walk to Dairy Delight a lot, the summer and the fall. And there are times that, that Dairy Delight parking lot is full, and people would park across the street and walk across. It's a challenge, but at least the sight lines are better there. Right. I think with the, when we discussed this in the past, the, the issue with moving it there, because obviously that's what you see like a logical place to put the parking lot, is on the other side, where the, on the other opposite side of the dairy lane is not, there's no sidewalk there, so it's a crosswalk to nothing. 
So I think there's a liability issue there from my <coughs> um, to where the crosswalk can legally go. Well, there's a, yeah, the, this raises another question. You come down from Washington Avenue on the south side of Bower Hill, and that sidewalk ends right, right, at, the, right at the parking lot for the Vecklin. Mm -hmm. Why didn't it continue? There's a, there, you know, yeah, I can get in the sidewalk. Yeah, basically what you got from the sidewalk is just parking lot. Yeah. It's, but it's a private parking lot the rest of the way. There's no sidewalk. So it would be a matter of actually adding sidewalks all the way down to the crosswalk to make it so it goes to somewhere. Sidewalks is a whole other issue. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That'll be another issue for another time. But I just, you know, this, you got to do something. Like that. What was your second recommendation? Move it. Move the crosswalk. First recommendation: put signs up, make it better. Look at, you know, you know, the, the crosswalk right. signs like we are, are we allowed to put a crosswalk from a private lot to a private lot? That's I think I think that was the issue we looked at. You know, that was the problem. What's that? That was the problem. Yeah, that was the issue. And then you're putting a crosswalk here, and then you're telling people for the dairy delight is to park yeah. by the Tambolini slot. Basically, you're is, is he saying people are parking over here, but it's private parking. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. You know, the issue between parking lot and parking lot, I don't, I don't think that's, I don't think the issue is so much of what we're connecting because we're connecting, you know, two sides of our of our street. The problem that we that I saw before was that we were encouraging people to park in what was Tampolini's parking lot and walk over <coughs> to no, we, there. We were not well, that was we weren't encouraging that. Well, that was the idea. If we were to put, if we were to put a, oh yeah, if we were to put a crosswalk right. there, yes. Yes. would we not then be encouraging exactly. that behavior? Yeah, and that's reality. Uh, yeah, now, reality is one thing. Okay, if you okay, that was your parking lot. You own a business, and we put a crosswalk going into your parking lot, and then somebody pulled well, out of your hurt. business, yeah. got hurt, and you'd be like, "Why were you, why were you directing people to come walk into my parking lot?" We weren't. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, this, this brings up another question. We have a set of stairs that comes up to that parking lot from a dead end sidewalk. No, no, I, I, I know. <laughs> But it comes if you cross from what's now rail yard across to the parking lot, and you come up the steps, you're now then you know, in their parking lot, but that's also part of our right of way. Okay? My question is could we not connect our two sides of the street? We put a walkway from the sidewalk. You can extend yeah. your you can extend your sidewalk if you wish. It's within the road right of way. Right. Perhaps so, Perhaps if we looked at just doing what we have the ability to do, which is put a crosswalk from one side of our street to the other side of our street, and look, people will do what people do. Correct, right, tourism. <laughs> well, hopefully they'll stop. There's a walkway. Yeah. 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 Yeah west side, across the street from the beer distributor, right. that ends at that stairwell. Yeah, no. Why not just wrap it around? <coughs> That's I believe they should show me you may need some kind of study over there before you do that. We will you first even know you got something. Right. So Let's, I would immediately Can we look uh, at uh, 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 can we really look and see what, what, to, uh, where we could put mm -hmm. continue that a sidewalk from there. Right. To, you know and then we can see the legality of it, whether or not it can be done. Yeah. Uh, I, if it's in your right of way, it can be done. I think no matter where you put it, it's going to be a difficult situation. So I like the first recommendation, to be quite honest with you. Um, yes, that at least more awareness, whether it's blinking signs, wherever you, know, you see these pedestrian signs in, in different areas. Um, yeah, that yeah, might I, be I, the most I walk down here all the time, uh, and I, come, I go to work. I never use the crosswalk. I cut across the tracks and stuff. But you know, if I get hit by a car, I'm like, I, you know, it's it's on me. You know, that's why the crosswalk goes from the sidewalk to the sidewalk down there, and then the sidewalk to the sidewalk up there. And yeah. I can get a pedestrian. <coughs> if you like, I can shed some light on some just numbers going off the sheer memory without having my computer in front of me. Um, I can.
can speak for the last 18 years, I can only think of one pedestrian that we had struck in that area, and he was crossing Railroad Street. That was so I know McLeod handled that. Chief McLeod handled that. So that had to be 15 years ago. Um, other than that, we had a pedestrian walking, not paying attention with his head down. He may have just crossed or was crossing the crosswalk you're speaking of, and he actually walked into the ladder that was being hauled by a pickup truck because he wasn't looking where he was going. His head hit the ladder. Um, but we've not had the pedestrian get run over in the 18 years I could think of at that location. I understand your concerns. Um, now, there obviously, there is an extra lane that was added last year for the traffic to turn down Railroad Street. But at least where the, the crosswalk is now, you at least have a stop sign on Bower Hill Road right. to stop the incoming traffic, and you have stop signs on the roads coming from Union and Liberty Street, which they have to stop. So there is some form of control there, but it's also the, the pedestrians have a duty and responsibility that they're not supposed to set foot in that crosswalk until it's clear to do so. That may be difficult during rush hour, but that are that is the rules that you have to follow as a pedestrian. You just don't step into the roadway and expect everybody to stop. No, it must be clear. But, but on the other hand, I mean, to stand in that to stand in that crosswalk, mm -hmm. you can stand there for five minutes some days, and yeah. and yeah. cars cars will turn from Railroad Street and just run right across that curb. Yeah. I don't know. I just you know it's it's one of those things that it, it's a safety issue. And I just want to make sure that, you know, we've had a couple of close calls because, we, you know, people aren't reported. It doesn't mean we don't have close calls. Is you, are you saying the problems at the stop sign of power where it's too late? Or are you saying it's by the beer distributor where it's wider? The, where the, are they crossing? The, the crosswalk comes from Railroad Street across through, it crosses the going outbound lane going out away from Washington and then there's two lanes. There's a turn lane yeah, coming know. in and then there's also a travel lane. There's actually two there. Right? One down by Bower Hill where it's two lane right. uh, and then the other one where you're talking about. So there are actually two different areas of uh, the crossing. But so can you get that public safety and yeah. get the chief and mm -hmm. kind of see a couple options? Yeah, actually, probably. Obviously the, the quickest and the simplest would be the signs. But if there's a better way to direct Sidewalk. Yeah, I mean that that crosswalk, the, the crosswalk down there, right at the stop sign of Bower Hill. Right. Um, but that one's been paved over, and the lines are kind of, mm -hmm. you know. But it, that's well, certainly another way to walk, walk walk out of your way to get across the road, especially if you're coming this way. Right. Thank you for your time. Thanks. 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 Right. <clears throat> Mary Weiss. Yeah. I don't know. It's been a new year. And I hope you all did have a good New York, a safe one. Uh, coming home from Gettysburg, which they everybody stops at the walkway something. That's where I first noticed it was in Gettysburg. Those people stop on a dime and they're going two and three miles an hour through the heart of town that you can get across the street. Um, it's really neat. But anyway, we came 